welcome back. We're getting a heck of a snowstorm today. We're just getting rolling with the day. Right now, I'm just gonna start the truck and unhook the trailer and give the truck a run through before I head back to Oregon. Ooh, a little cold this morning. But first, we gotta clear out the shop and we'll start checking on the old girl. in here I gotta clean all this out of the way and have a big enough spot to pull in here that truck barely fits as is but first you gotta get all this picked up and put somewhere so I'm enough of a mechanic to get myself into trouble I worked for the diesel mechanic shop for two years kind of off and on um, more specifically, a mid-size diesel engine shop, such as Power Strokes and Cummins and Duramax engines in pickup trucks. And even more specifically, I worked for my Uncle Ben um, at Bettingfield Performance in Central Point, Oregon. I worked on a lot of Power Strokes mostly, not because they're bad engines or because they're bad vehicles in general, but because Ford came out with the six 0 0.0 liter power stroke and that is the worst engine to ever hit the planet in my humble opinion and so with that I worked on them the most it seemed like and I also worked on 7.3 power strokes like mine is because they'll go half a million miles or like this one with 380,000 miles and so with that comes your typical ball joints and tie rods and U joints and all that and so all that's to say is that I'm fairly comfortable diving in to my own personal vehicles, but uh, I wouldn't consider myself a full-blown mechanic. I usually call Uncle Ben and pick his brain, and typically he could diagnose it over the phone and I could change parts. But for the mechanical side of things, such as front end work or fluids and all that, I have no problem diving in and checking things out. What are you doing? What are you doing? Where's your boo -boo? No, stay down. Nothing comes out when I put my pinky in there. So, she's fairly dry. So, Uncle Ben, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, we'll, uh, we'll get some gear oil in town. Probably enough for the front and the rear end, I'm guessing. What are you doing in here, little mouse? Get out of here. Shoot. I have to arm myself. The mice are taking over. This is a BB gun. I stole it from my best friend's kids. I'm out of BBs. You survived today, little mouse, but I'll get you. Well, I need to go to town to get parts, so I'll take Hunter some uh, lunch down at the shop and get some oil and stuff from the parts store, and then I'll head back and put the truck back together. And we'll get some propane for the heater in the shop. Cause it is very cold today. Look who I ran into. This little climb. Where's Hunter? Where's Hunter? I came down to the shop to give Hunter some lunch. And apparently she's not here. But she did a lot of painting. 
that wall was already done but she got this wall done and she didn't like the blue that wall's still blue I think this one's green now and maybe she went back with blue I can't tell I think it's different I think it's green all right well we made it back to the shop and uh, I found some coveralls so I put them on. It is really cold out here, but I'm gonna fire up the forge and that's gonna be my heater for the day. Excuse me. I wish I had that on video. Not really. So, this is what happened. Had the truck in there, propane going. Then, starting fluid, propane, cleaning out the pumpkin on that truck that is now dripping in the snow. Um, it caught on fire and everything went up in flames. I had a box sitting right there because everything's so stinking crowded in here. It caught on fire caught the dog blankets on fire and so I threw the door open pulled the pickup out there and uh, started pulling some burning stuff out of the shop that was dumb that was really dumb uh, if you ever see this on YouTube that was not smart chances of me posting this are kind of slim <laughs> problem was I had this whole thing shut down so there was no ventilation and then all of a sudden uh, the bucket that everything was draining into caught on fire and it just escalated from there I don't think it burned anything on the truck I got it out in time but everything else burned yikes I was underneath the truck and I just saw flames everywhere thank god that I didn't burn my shop down today that could have been really really bad but everything worked out you learn from your mistakes, you move on and try to do better the next day. <laughs> all right, well, that's all for tonight. I'm back working on the truck today after yesterday's fiasco with the fire and whatever else. If you don't know, um, if I didn't end up putting it in the video, um, there was a little fire in the shop yesterday. It's nothing to be too concerned about, but uh, it almost got out of control and burned the whole shop down. Anywho, I got the rear end apart. It's worse than I thought, but after talking to old Uncle Ben, I think I'm going to try to get, get to him before we fix components. So, I'm just redoing U-joints on the driveline. I got one out. Typically, I use a vise to get these U-joints out, but we don't have a vise in the shop, so we have to adapt to our surroundings. I got that one out. It was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Problem is, these are greasable U-joints, and greasable U-joints are great if you remember to grease them. If you are like me and you forget to grease them, they don't do you any good.
Okay, that's about the dirtiest job I've ever done on as far as silicone goes. But I let this sit here for a minute and cure while I clean up the diff. And then we'll put it back on and fill it full of oil when I get back from town. All right, we're gonna head to Powell and get some parts. I gotta get brake pads and a rotor for this truck and a U-joint. So I'm gonna go pick up Hunter. She's in town at the shop. Then we'll head to Powell. What an absolutely gorgeous day. Hi, tiny man. Hi, badger girl. Absolutely gorgeous.